हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू इन टूडे सेमिनार आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इफ एन एप्लीकेशन फॉर द एंटिसिपेटरी बिल इज रिजेक्टेड कंसर्निंग द ऑफेंस पनिशेबल अंडर सेक्शन 420, 468 और 471 सेवेंटी वन ऑफ द आईपीसी देन वेदर द अक्यूज शुड मूव to the honorable supreme court under slp or should avail the other alternative remedy for vindication of his grievances and protection of his right friends as you know that i am a defense lawyer and usually i conduct the seminars for the welfare of defense it is my presumption that the accused in is innocent and he is to be presumed innocent unless proven guilty by the consent court so in the present seminar i'm going to discuss in such a scenario what the accused should do exactly friends as we know that the slow and steady wins the game and this protocol is totally applicable for the defense because while taking any further action we have to be constant but we have to act in a prudent manner so that our rights could be protected from being affected by such false prosecution as you know that when the fire is lost against a person he got panic because under the pressure of the concerned complainant the police usually called such person through telephonic means or other means an interlinear told him mr you have committed the crime confess or do the compromise when the concerned accused failed to do the same in that scenario he is pressurized to surrender so that he could be arrested and could be produced before the court sometimes it is seen that when the accused is arrested in an economic offence or an offence pertaining to the forgery in that scenario his bail application might be rejected by the concerned trial court and after that the complainant usually do the media trial in the media trial the name of his family and even his name is defamed publicly he got harassed and to protect himself he usually move the anticipatory bail before the consent sessions court as per the protocol of section 438 of crpc friends while moving this bail the concerned accused never do the efficient homework which he is required to do in the daily course at this junction i want to clarify that while moving for the step you are required to follow the three following steps number 1 first obtain the copy of the fir and examine the same at the microscopic level number 2 whatever allegations are false just give the answer to the same in the form of memorandum number 3 as we know that in number of cases honorable supreme court held that the accused is subjected to the fair investigation just formulate the points of the investigation and cause confusion in the mind of the authority because i believe that if you could not confess you should go for the confusion so the set protocol would be very much beneficial for you to proceed further because when you will proceed before the court of session what you will submit that i have joined the investigation and the concerned investigating authority is not intend to investigate on my point rather than the investigation is going to be conducted in the ex parte manner in the favor of the complainant and if the offense is punishable up to the extent of 7 year and the benefit of section 41a crpc is not given to you then you become entitled for the anticipatory bail and even if the set period is not considered just move before the high court and if it is rejected then again don't be disappointed while moving before the honorable supreme court just do one thing we have an efficient alternative remedy in the eye of law which is not much 
expensive as compared to the SLP proceeding. That is the proceeding for section 482 of CRPC. Friends, as we know that in number of cases, the Honorable Supreme Court held that if the proceedings are totally purely civil in nature and apart from that, by using some text of the Indian Penal Code, the concerned accused is implicated in a criminal act. In that scenario, the entire proceedings are abuse of process of law and the proceedings are liable to be quest. And while disposing such application, the court may also enlarge the accused on bail and even direct the concerned police not to take any coercive action against the accused. But usually we forget and we got depressed. Friend, I want to clarify that your action inter alia will decide the fate of the result. I'm going to clarify you when we were in the school, a number of students who are not sincere about their future and they usually term as bank venture, entirely focus on that questions which usually come in the examination at a periodical time and they had good marks on the board rather than those who believe in the ratification. The same is with the defense. While defending the case of the prosecution, you are not required, you are not supposed to explain each and everything. You are required to give the explanation of the incrimination if you think fit. But always act in a clever manner. If you want to save yourself, if you want to save your rights. While doing the same, just be on the black and white. Because I want to clarify that if you are going to make the oral submission, this will be your submissions. But if you want to make the real submission, you should note down the same, should forward the same to the concerned investigating authority. Friends, to boost up your confidence, I am going to tell you the real story where the accused had adopted the set parameter and finally got success. Friends, one of my client had been booked in section 420 and section 406 of the IPC. He is called by the investigating officer and he was pressurized to do the compromise. Because the complainant was having the efficient relationship with the higher official of the police. And he was told that if he failed to do so, in that scenario he would be arrested. But he never disappointed. Immediately, he took the copy of the FIR and examined the entire dispute. In the FIR, the concerned complainant averted that. I have purchased a vehicle from the concerned person and after that, there is some mechanical mistakes or error due to which I failed to use my vehicle in the right perspective. The concerned IO is of opinion that you have cheated him and given him a mechanical error based vehicle. But in fact, the point of the defense is that the vehicle is not manufactured by him. He is merely a sailor. And if there is any mechanical error, the same could be rectified as per the policy of the company and insurance. And apart from that, if he has any grievances, then he may approach to the consumer forum. But the concerned IO, while misusing his official position, failed to consider the points of my client. He submitted his point in writing by adding the number of citation of the Honorable Supreme Court and High Court. When the same had approached in the hands of the IO, he pressurized my client that he would be arrested soon. And each and everything is recorded because at that time we were on the papers. And ultimately we have moved the bail application before court of session and convinced the Honorable Court that the notice which is mandatory as per section 41A of CRPC is not given to the accused. And apart from that, the concerned investigating officer intend to investigate the offense, which in fact is not an offense, but a civil dispute. And apart from that, the pressure is constant and he is about to misuse his official position 
and ultimately by convincing with all the points and the important fact that the accused Siumoto had joined the investigation. He has given the expression to the entire FIR. He got the bail from the consent court, uh, an, an anticipatory bail. So don't be disappointed. If you are having the trouble, then the solution is available at law. Just enforce your right and protect yourself from being harassed from the clinches of such false person and false prosecution. Friends, in the next seminar, I will discuss whether a private organization or a person could investigate a criminal case. If you are having any idea on this subject, just comment me. I will definitely incorporate your idea in the next seminar.